My goodness, we do want to get into uh, the forecast here at home with meteorologist Robert Sir, but Robert, we have been keeping a close eye on Henri and where do things stand at this point? Well, it's still off the Virginia coast. It's moving up the North Atlantic and it's going to collide with most likely Long Island and Connecticut here. It's a major weather story. First time in 30 years that this part of the country has taken a direct hit from a tropical from a hurricane. Now there's an ongoing battle about uh, Sandy, but it was not officially a hurricane. The center of circulation is right about here. You can see some convection flaring up. This is the infrared satellite image we're seeing here kind of being sheared a little bit and that's bad for a hurricane here, which is still category one as of the latest advisory 75 mile an hour winds again headed right for the Hamptons here in, in eastern Long Island before crossing into Connecticut. But the circulation around it is going to really impact Rhode Island as well. In fact, picking the Atlantic up and pretty much throwing it into Narragansett Bay. So if you have family in, let's say, Newport, Rhode Island, some bad days ahead for those folks. Nothing like that here today. 86 in Fayetteville, a few degrees below your average of 89 degrees. Nice and quiet in Fort Smith, where you got up to 91, which is three degrees below your average of 93. But those the average temperatures, they're starting to come down now. So we get d later into summer. but. Hot weather is on the way. In fact, we have a heat advisory for the River Valley tomorrow, noon to 8, as well as our eastern Oklahoma counties. Uh, heat index as high as 110. That is not something to mess around with out there tomorrow, folks. Temperatures right now, mid 70s to lower 80s across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. But these dew points are just disgusting. 75 in, uh, in Alma and Ozark, 78 in Clarksville. That is tropical. Watching for a few showers tonight. Very widely scattered. Very hit or miss. Maybe even tomorrow morning. Then we'll clear out. Lots of heat. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, which could fuel a few more showers and storms by the time we get later in the day and then waking up Monday morning, headed back to school and work. Not too bad. We're under this heat dome right now. It's going to really kind of move a little bit more over our area and kind of centralize itself. And that's going to keep the heat up, the winds down, and the clouds away. And it's going to get rip roar and hot out there. Lows tonight, mostly in the lower to mid 70s, a very oppressive and muggy night and a very muggy, oppressive day tomorrow. 90s across the board. One or two locations may hit the century mark. Extended forecast for Northwest Arkansas. Maybe, as I said, a stray shower tomorrow. Impact days Monday through Thursday for the dangerous heat and humidity out there. Lots of sunshine, but my goodness, the, the heat and humidity is just going to be awful. Uh, the worst, if not, you know, some of the worst that we've seen this year will be this week. Unfortunately, you can see River Valley, a lot of nines there. Not what you want to see as we get into late August, but I promise you fall is coming, folks. There are better days. We just got to get through the heat first. Stay with us. Jordan Black has all the news from the world of sports after the break.